The other um, provision that I think is especially challenging for undocumented immigrants is a provision that would prevent undocumented immigrants from being able to obtain uh, certain types of ID. So obviously undocumented immigrants in North Carolina cannot get driver's licenses or state issued ID, but we do have a few places where uh, a local ID is being issued or was being considered, Charlotte sort of being the largest one that most recently considered issuing a, a municipal ID. This bill would prevent the uh, recognition of a municipal ID for most uh, government purposes. And what about all the talk of the term sanctuary cities? We keep hearing from the governor and everybody else. Tell us about that. Right. So that's referencing that first policy that I was talking about. This this idea that if you don't ask a witness of crime about their immigration status, you're somehow a sanctuary city, which I think is uh, a little bit of a stretch. But really, these cities that um, in other states maybe do things like not report when to the federal government when they have a detainer on someone, on an undocumented immigrant, we don't have any policies like that in this state. So we're really talking about local policies that maybe make it easier for people to come forward and report crime. That's really what might be applicable in North Carolina. Um, so that would be the definition of sanctuary city here, and it would be prevented by this law. Um, and how much of that uh, do you think is, is wrapped up in our current political season? I mean, we see that it, it, your explanation of the bill is very hard. It makes a lot of sense, but you don't hear a lot of that from politicians <laughs> who'd rather use whether it's sanctuary city or yeah. people breaking the law or whatever it is. Right. I think there was a lot of attention being paid to, uh, by the governor at least, to this idea that we have a, a lot of crime being committed by undocumented immigrants. And I don't think the data backs that up, but I also think that it makes sense to allow local law enforcement to assess their their local situation and create policies to address crime in their community. They're probably better situated than the legislature to understand the crime in their own community. And if they think it's appropriate to try to encourage witnesses and victims to come forward, by not asking about immigration status, that seems um, like something we should respect at the state level.